sort the mail. But we are not going to be told how to sort the mail. We know they will all have zip codes on them. Some may match, but they're going to be different sizes and shapes. We are also limited in the space we have to organize and the time we have as the mail goes by. We are going to problem solve how to sort this mail while it's coming towards us. What strategies are you thinking of? I'm thinking of the end result. We're going to have to sort by size and to make sure it gets delivered to the correct zip code. I think we need to look at the task of dividing it up as it comes at us. Well, I guess we're getting ready to go. The mail coming in started simple. This isn't too hard. Yeah. We had just a series of envelopes with zip codes on them. Three, eight, one, three, eight. Beth and I took turns grabbing handfuls of letters and quickly putting them with the zip codes they needed to go to. I don't even can't find this there. <laughs> Zero. Six, five, one. And I had a lot of trouble trying to keep track of where Three. each zip code was. Zero, zero. White House. And those strategies that we talked about earlier? Yeah, we didn't use those once the mail started coming in faster. We also thought we might split up who did what. But the mail just kept on coming. Uh, these are coming in a little bit. Two, four, one. I was prepared for. But with different sizes of packages, there are more boxes, and different quantities boxes. going to different places, One. we soon became very confused and couldn't no organize. Oh! <laughs> Our first plan, once we started Here. to get boxes, was to place them in their corresponding zip codes, but keep them separate from the regular envelopes. That didn't happen because they were coming in too fast. And we started to miss a few. And then a few more. And then a lot more. Well, I, I guess we're done, but at least we sorted most of the mail. This was much more challenging than I had anticipated. How do you think we could make this more efficient? Repetition would help. I didn't know where the zip codes with these boxes were, so I was running around. And also, if we split out the packages and the letters and did one or the other and not both at the same time, that would have helped. Definitely. How do you think the actual mail is sorted? Communications became the most vital aspect of our economy. The post office became the prime artery of commerce. For a time, the department was perfectly able to keep up. If the mail piled high, put on another piece of equipment. And if that didn't do the trick, add a few more clerks or a flock of carriers. But by World War I, the post office carried more advertising in a week than all the newspapers and magazines could carry in a year. It was the country's bill collector, check deliverer, errand runner. The volume of mail delivered leaped to 20 billion. By 1948, it had doubled, 40 billion. Literally, the post office stands to be swamped, overwhelmed, drowned in a sea of mail. Where do we go from here? The post office and its successor, the United States Postal Service, implemented several innovations to help sort and distribute the mail. One of these is the Zone Improvement Plan, or zip codes. Zip code. Five trailblazing numbers like this one launch every piece of mail with space age speed and precision. Another innovation is optical character recognition. The optical character reading machines in use by the post office department are among the more complex electronic devices. A camera uses software to recognize handwritten letters and translate them into code to compare against a database of known addresses and names. More recently, the Postal Service has introduced barcodes to scan the mail even quicker. Machines can sort 30,000 letters in an hour. The pace and scale of automation in the postal system has exploded. Numbers represent addresses, barcodes represent numbers, machines read barcodes. Mail is taken from mailboxes and brought to processing and distribution centers to be sorted. 
Mail is sorted first into three categories, letters, flats, and packages. Computers take pictures of stamps and handwriting to digitally locate and match them within the database, determining where they need to go. The parcels are then marked and processed with barcodes and put into a delivery sequence. They are then moved to a loading dock to be delivered to local post offices. In most cases, drivers take sorted mail from local post offices to be delivered to homes. Let's reflect and redesign this demo to work in your classroom. Which of our methods worked really well? Not many. And what's the next step in the process of getting mail to its final destination? Try creating zones in your classrooms that represent different geographical regions. Mountains, islands, plains, or even a place just around the corner. Have your students develop the best modes of transportation for these different locations. Do you like to get mail? We sure do. Send a letter to Stimmin30 at this address. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel and follow Stimmin30 on Facebook and Twitter.